video games are pretty much the cornerstone of pretty of every man's life at this point. Video games are everywhere. Everyone seems to be playing video games. People have made millions off video games. There have been competitions around the world revolved around video games that attracted millions of people. And video games are what I think to be the most manipulating, destructive, and I guess catastrophic type of activity when regarding your success. And for me, when I first started playing video games, it was way back when I was nine years old. The first video game I played was Minecraft. And if you can already know, I played the Hunger Games servers. I did survival with my friends, and it was fun. And then over the years, I kept playing video games. Obviously, it was to the point where it's like I wasn't addicted to video games yet. I was just playing like maybe an hour, maybe two hours, maybe every week week because um my parents were very strict on video games they didn't let me play video games during the school week so i would have to wait until the weekend to play and usually i play with friends then it got to the point where around my high school around middle school actually middle school this popular game called fortnite started to you know rise and there are streamers playing the game and then soon even my close friends were playing the game so i decided to play the game and i guess you could say fortnite kind of led to me just being on video games a lot more i was playing maybe like four to five hours every week and then it got to the point where i was playing every single day during the summer so maybe i'll play about three to four hours per day and then it went to five hours six hours seven hours eight hours you see the point what I'm making here, right? What happened was I started to get addicted to video games. Obviously, I didn't know it then. So, high school rolls around, and this is my freshman year. And I was playing video games, and this is to the point where it's like, during school, I couldn't play during the weekdays. So, obviously, I focused on school and stuff, and I was very big on academics. So, I did fine freshman year. Regardless, if I was playing like 10 to 12 hours and during the weekends. And usually I was playing with friends, so I thought that was fine. But it got to the point where um, it, it, it became uncontrollable and it started to destroy my academics. That's when COVID started. It's 2020 and my school goes into lockdown. We have to we get like an extended uh, spring break for like about two weeks and I mean it was it was exciting I could finally play video games I could finally play every day and there's there's just spring break and then online school started and I mean they had introduced this student a uh, system where if you already had uh if you have a a or a minus or a plus then there's no then your grade can't um get lower so even if you did bad on a test then your grade can't get lower. So at this point, I already had all A's. So I pretty much didn't even need to try on any of the tests. And and my grade wouldn't suffer because of that. So I played video games every single day. And in the summer, I played video games every single day, multiple hours. It was gone to the point where I was playing at least eight hours per day. Eight. And that's not even the worst. And then... Next year, um, rolled around. It's my sophomore year of high school, and that's when video games started to uh, uh, mess up my academic streak that I had. So freshman year, I did pretty good. I got mostly all A's in my subjects. I was a pr- smart kid, and sophomore year, I started taking harder subjects, but video games were consuming my life at this point they were all I thought about I played video games every single day even during class after class I would just play more video games and it got to the point where it started to result in lower academic performance and this was the first semester that um 
I did really bad. Like, I did really bad. I can't even tell you about the grades. Like, I just did horrible. And it got to the point where my GPA dipped from, like, maybe, like, a 3.7, 3.8 to 2 point, like, 2 to, like, 2.4 GPA. And maybe that's not bad in your terms, but as an Indian kid who was raised in an academic, like, in, academically inclined household, it's pretty bad. So, um, I tried to improve, but obviously I was still struggling with video games. And then sophomore year, I graduated sophomore year, and it just let, uh, it just led to more video games because in summer I just played, and I think this was the height of my video game addiction because I was playing half the half a half a day of just video games, twelve to thirteen hours per day, like. It was, I think, 72 hours, 80 hours per week. Per week. Like, it was crazy. So, I decided that the video games were not benefiting me in any way possible. All my friends quit video games. They were all doing other stuff. And I decided to quit video games because they're not serving me in any way. And... Before my junior year, which is approximately like 2021, I quit video games. You see, the problem with playing video games for me, and I think this is for a lot of people, is that it distracts you. It makes you do worse in other parts of your life. Because you're so dedicated and so focused on progressing in a video game or leveling up in that video game. You just don't care or you don't put as much effort into other activities in real life that probably have more consequences than if you didn't focus on the video game. You see, for me, I focus so much on the video game. And for me, it was Fortnite. So obviously, I care about getting better at the game, working on my mechanics. And I did that at the expense of my grades. And now, I I graduated sophomore year with a really bad GPA. Like, really bad. It was, like, 2.6 or something, which is really bad, considering I had a 3.8 freshman year. So, why am I saying this message? Why am I telling you about my story in video games? Because I think this is a lesson that a lot of people need to learn. That video games do not serve you in any way. That video games... That if you don't have an addiction to video games, you will have an addiction to video games at some point. And I think video games are really just, like, the most disgusting, like, I think destructive thing that a man can be addicted to. Because one thing about video games that it does is that it manipulates your, like, core desires. So, obviously, as a man, you have core desires to progress progress in your life, to, to, like, make achievements and accomplish goals. You have desires to be, like, in a brotherhood, to have, like, a social friend group that you're, like, a part of. And video games take those desires, and then they manipulate that so that they, you put more time into that video game. So you get, like, I guess, pseudo uh, versions of these. So, like, when you level up in a video game or accomplish a task in a video game, that's, like, your sense of progression. And... And, like, the clan or, like, the Discord group or, like, your video game friends count as that, like, social, um, like, brotherhood that you have. They take these desires and they ruin it. And they ruin you. Because when you put so much time into this video game, everything in your real world... Okay, how can I phrase this? When you put more time into the virtual world... You put less time into the real world, when into the real world, like, activities. So, for example, it could be your job, it could be your um, business, it could be your school, it could be anything. When you put more time into the virtual world, you put less time into other activities. And, as a result, your, your, the real world um, stuff that you have going for you will get worse. And then it will come to the point... Where when you play enough video games, when you play so much video games, that the virtual world in those video games are way better than, like, 
the real world version of you. So that makes you want to play more video games. You become addicted, you become hooked onto this. And then it's like you need the video games because like your life is so shit that the video games literally offer you an escape from that shitty life. So it is hard to quit video games. And that's why it's important to quit video games because the more and more you go down this virtual world rabbit hole that you're going into, your li- real world is going to get worse. And it comes to the point where uh, the overstimulation that your brain goes through, your dopamine receptors get fried to shit. Like, you cannot, like, enjoy even real life anymore. You're just depressed 24-7. And one thing I noticed is that a lot of gamers, they, they can't even enjoy the video game anymore. Like, that's what happened with me. Junior year, I was playing 12 hours a day, and I did not enjoy a single bit of it. Maybe I had some moments where I was like, oh, look, I got a kill, or, oh, look, I won a game. But I did not enjoy a single bit of those video games. I did not enjoy it a single bit. So that's why it was maybe easier for me to quit, because I had every reason to quit. But for a lot of people, maybe they have friends on video games. And I want to say this to you. Those friends on your video games... Are they really your friends? Because here, look at this. Look at it this way. If they were really your friends, then you would hang out with them outside of video games. You would hang out with them in real life. You would do other things other than video games. If you're only playing video games with these type of friends, then they're not your real friends. And and to be honest with you, they would probably not hang out with you if you weren't on that video game. Like, test this out. If you don't believe me, test this out. Don't play video games for a week or so. And see if you even talk to these friends that you have on video games. If you, if you don't, then, then that gives your um, that gives you your uh, answer. They're not your real friends. So, you know they're not your real friends. You know these video games are just making your life worse. They're overstimulating your brain. They're frying your brain to the point where you're honestly developing depression. You develop... Like, depression, because you just can't enjoy real life anymore. You're just living in this empty, nihilistic, like, mentality, which hooks you even more onto video games. So, video games are ruining your life. Your friends aren't really your friends. What's other reasons why you would quit? Well, maybe, maybe you just need the video games. Maybe you just want to play the video games. Oh, it's fine. I only play one hour a day. Might as well just play it after a hard day's work. First of all, that's bullshit. You don't play one hour a day. And second of all, if you want to take rest, video games are the opposite of rest. They're stimulating your brain. If you want your brain to rest, you don't stimulate your brain. If you want to rest, you either meditate, you either maybe like take like a nap, or you just sleep. You just sleep. Those are the only ways to rest your brain. Video games do not count as rest at all. They do not count as a break. They do not count... As anything that constitutes like resting your brain. And one thing about video games is that one what I said earlier, they manipulate your masculine desires. They also they do that, and as a result, you're you're putting less effort into your real world stuff. And that's why after you quit the video game, you feel like shit. Because your real your real life, the like the version you are right now in real life is so like down in the depths compared to the virtual world. So then as a result, you would want to keep playing video games because you don't want to live like that. Quit video games, you improve your life. Because here's the thing, if you quit video games, then you can finally maybe use that desire. Instead of leveling up on that video game, you can level up in real life. You can, instead of leveling up your strength or your um, uh, fighting skills on a video game, you level it up in real life. You You learn how to fight, you work out at the gym. Do some resistance training. Build muscle. Maybe learn how to make a business or an app. Maybe do better in school. Do study more. Because now you don't have video games. You're not wasting your time. And video games are truly a waste of time. They are. Like, you cannot lie to me. They are wasting your time. They're not enjoyable. For a lot of gamers, they're not enjoyable. Like, record yourself right now. If you think I'm wrong, record yourself and see... If you're enjoying the video game. You're going to just be like this. That's your that's you for most of the time. Is that really true enjoyment? 
that's just my opinion on video games. And this is just a relatively um, short video, but soon I will be uploading videos on how to stop uh, video games, how to cure your video game addiction, and I'll do even more stuff on like how to how to get onto self improvement, how to start a dopamine detox. So, if you don't know me, my name is Bonus, and I am on, I do self improvement videos, and I just want to make the world a better place. Peace.